had just read something very interesting about nanotechnology. Nano what? John, don't you know what nanotechnology is? No, why should I? Because it makes your life easier. Nanomaterials are all around us. They are advanced materials that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. They are already used in electronics, cosmetics, textiles, medicine and other applications. Oh, okay. Give me some examples. Do you remember your grandma's cell phone? Your dad's old computer? Nanotechnology improves the characteristics of electronic gadgets, but it reduces their weight and their energy costs at the same time. Thus, your mobile and your PC are so much faster and lighter than your dad's old ones. They also have so much bigger memory. We can store so many pictures, songs and videos. Let me tell you about nanomaterials and cosmetics. Oh, please don't. I don't care about cosmetics. You care about the sunscreen you put on in the summer. Sunscreens include nanoparticles that reflect and scatter UV light and protect skin against skin cancer. Uh, did you say something about applications in medicine? Nanocarriers are used in medicine in order to deliver the drug to specific parts of our body. This is especially important in treating cancer since the drugs there are very toxic and you don't want them going around the bloodstream. What about textiles? Nanomaterials can be introduced in fabrics in order to make them water repellent. Such cloths will never become dirty. Can you imagine your mom never shouting at you again for your dirty t-shirt? Okay, okay, I am convinced. Nanotechnology is important. But why? First of all, what is nano? One nanometer is one billionth of a meter. One meter is one billion nanometers. One with nine zeros behind it. What do you think is the smallest thing you know? A human hair? The diameter of a human hair is 100,000 nanometers. A nanomaterial has the size of a few nanometers, less than 100. And why are such small particles so effective? One reason is that nanoparticles have a huge surface area. More surface area means more area for reaction. An example? If I put an iron nail in hydrochloric acid, it reacts very slowly. But, if I put iron powder instead, it reacts rapidly, because it is larger surface area. So we will try to get more information from someone who works with this kind of stuff? Nowadays, everybody knows about nanotechnology. This wasn't exactly the one I had in mind. Let's ask a scientist, shall we? Let's ask Professor Spiros Anastasiadis. He works at Forth. Professor Anastasiadis, what is nanotechnology? What makes nanomaterials so special? So, nanotechnology is the understanding and control of matter at the nanoscale where unique phenomena enable novel applications. The physical, chemical, biological properties of matter are very different in the nanometer scale than when we, we discuss them for bulk materials, for macroscopic materials. This enables novel applications because these nanostructured materials can be either more magnetic or they can reflect light more effectively or they can absorb light at different uh, wavelengths and this enables novel applications in many areas. So, what kind of nanomaterials do you study in your institute and in your lab? So there are many different materials that we study at Forth. We study materials that can be used as carriers in nanomedicine to deliver drugs at specific parts of the body. We study materials that can be used in microelectronics, nanoelectronics, to develop new radars or to, to make your phones work faster and better. We develop materials that can have magnetic properties that can be used, for example, as MRI agents uh, for, for uh, magnetic tomography. So we study materials that can help a range of applications 
for our everyday life, but also for high tech. Well, what applications of nanotechnology would you like to see materialize in the future? We believe nanotechnology will give us the answer to a number of, of important problems that humanity will face in, in this century. For example, energy and water will be very important problems for humanity. For energy, nanomaterials can help us utilize fully the, the light, for example, of sun, so we can create energy. In, uh, in water, nanomaterials can help us in water purification, water desalination, so that people in the third world will not suffer because of water shortages. At the same time, in health, nanomedicine, nanocarriers can help us either solve the problem of cancer through, for example, the specific delivery of drugs, or uh, using, for example, photo, photothermal treatment to create locally, uh, to, to cure locally cancer. All these can help humanity in, in various ways in the future. Thank you very much, Professor Anastasiades. My pleasure. To sum up, nanotechnology provides us with products with desirable properties such as waterproof surfaces, socks that don't stink, hygienic cover, and devices for everything, smaller and faster computers, and electronic gadgets, <laughs> lighter but stronger materials for airplanes or bicycles, more official medicine, but from Greece with love.